Hi everybody, I'm Johnny Van Zan of Leonard Skinner. Good to see you. Welcome to Italy. Oh, Welcome you. to Linear Rock. Thank you. It's a um, pleasure. So Linear Skinner are living proof. You know, the legends never die. <laughs> and, uh, I was at Sweden Rock, as right. I already told you, and, uh, which is a pretty, very various festival. And uh, I noticed that uh, Everybody was with you. Uh, everybody was in re respect and adoration for you, right. for you guys. Right. So it was. How do you live that? The fact you know that like, people from you know Halloween T-shirts to know, right. garden, everybody was there. Right, right. No, you know what? It's a, uh, it's a uh, very humbling sometimes. You know, uh, but you know what? Leonard Skinner's an icon these days. You know, people love the band, and and uh, we love our fans. We call it the Skinner Nation. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're three generations bold, and um, you know it's just one of those things that, that uh, we're just glad to still be here. We enjoy what we do, and we've lived through so much tragedy that and so many things that uh, these days uh, getting on stage and playing music for the fans is just <laughs> awesome. Is there any difference for you uh, to tour nowadays compared to yeah, not, the early days? <laughs> not drinking, uh, <laughs> okay. not staying up all night. Uh, okay. So you know we enjoy our time on stage, and that's that's. There were so many times, you know, in the early days that you didn't remember a show, <laughs> you know, yeah. because you were drunk or whatever else yeah. you were doing. And uh, these days we want to soak it in and enjoy it and enjoy the fans. You know. And now there's another Johnny in the band. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Two Johnny, double Two trouble. Johnny. Yeah, double, double trouble. trouble. <laughs> okay, how, how did you think about him? Uh, he Why worked. him? Yeah, well, uh, you know what, he had been off the road for a while. Yeah. And uh, Ricky Medlock actually called him and said, hey, would you want to come to Nashville? We were making our newest record, Last of the Dying Breed. And uh, said, hey, would you want to come to Nashville and just play with us some? And uh, he did, and it just worked out, you know. And never thought there'd be two Johnnies in the band, <laughs> but now there is. <laughs> okay, so he, now he's an official member. Yeah, sure. He's a great guy. He um, he plays really hard and steady, and yeah, you know, kind of kicks us in the butt a little bit right now too. So which is good. He comes from the Black Crows, was yeah. in the band yeah. in the early days. So yeah. did, did you like them? Also, the Black Crows. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, you know. Uh, wasn't my favorite band, I have to be honest, but I like certain songs of theirs. And uh, uh, you know what? I'm just glad that he's a part of Leonard Skinner now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the new album, Last of the Dying Breed, uh, will be out soon in August. Uh, any anticipation on that for the fans that are during the interview? Yeah, you know, we. Uh, a lot of artists tell you that it's their best album ever. Oh, this is our best album. Yeah. Ever. And uh, for us and Leonard Skinner, we feel that it's it's great to us. But until the fans say it's great, you know, when our Skinner Nation says it's great, then we'll know it's really good. So, you know, but we had a great time doing it. We used our producer Bob Marlett that, that uh, did God and Guns and. Uh, did it in uh, February, March of 2012 here in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, just had a blast doing it. So we hope that the fans love it as much as we do. And it's a great record. <laughs> okay, it is. So you like it. All right. Great. Um, so this band has always been an icon, as you already said, and uh, not only in rock music, but also in the American culture, and uh, you also delivered through the years some very strong statements in the lyrics and during the interviews. Uh, how this influenced your career, and uh, would you rewrite the story exactly the same? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think we would, you know what? Surely we wouldn't have the loss of members of Leonard Skinner. I would rewrite that, and, and uh, a plane crash. Surely I'd take that out, and, and uh, you know I'd love for my brother to be here, of course, and Alan and, and Leon and Billy and, and those who have went on before us here. But uh, 
I would rewrite all that. And, uh, but as far as the the music, creating the music, and, and all that, I think it it should be the way it is today. What do you remember of the Leonard Skinner early days as a brother? Yeah, as a brother. Uh, them practicing in our living room where we in our house. And uh, just hanging around the guys, you know, Skinner's a big family, you know, we are a family. And uh, uh, just wanting to do that, you know, I want to be there, I want to go there. And uh, But I never dreamt that I'd be a member of Leonard Skinner. Mm -hmm. You know, I figured in 77 when the plane crash happened that it would probably be the end of Leonard Skinner. But Gary called me and I'm pointing over there because Gary's <laughs> over there. And. Uh, you know, it said, hey, do you want to go out and try this and do this? And um, we did it for like six to eight weeks in the United States. And then we stopped. Mm. And it was almost like the, the plane crash had happened again. The family dispersed. You know, yes. we kind of all went our different ways. And then we said, let's get together and write some songs. And uh, we did, and it was fun. And music's supposed to be fun. And the fans wanted it. So 20... Five years this year singing for Lincoln Skin. Yeah. How did you feel back then? I mean, the, the first sensation, the first feeling that comes to your mind about uh, joining the band. After joining the band? Very scared. <laughs> Uh, you know, Skinner fans can be tough, you know. I didn't know if they were going to throw rocks at me or what. But uh, just wanting to do the name justice, you know, because there was so much, you know, my brother made so many good songs and, and uh, you know, I didn't want to hurt the name of Leonard Skinner. But looking back on it now, 25 years later, I'm so glad because we've turned different, you know, newer generations onto the fans and, and people understand the situation now, you know. And, and, uh, you know, we had, just the other day you were talking about that show that you were at. We had such a good time, and we're looking forward to the night. Yeah. Um, you've been defined, you know, the royal family of Southern Rock music. <laughs> and you changed so many members, but, you know, the family still right. goes on. The family feeling is very strong. Right, right. And uh, is this the trick that makes you immortal? Well, I don't think anybody's immortal, but we're all going to have to take that trip, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, you know what, we are a survival story, yeah. You know, and the music gets us through it, and our fans, and, yeah. you know, doing the album God and Guns, two of our members died, Billy Powell and Ian Evans. And uh, we were like, well, should we keep going? What should we do? Maybe this is the end of Leonard Skinner. Yeah. And, uh, but we were in the middle of doing the record. So we thought to ourselves, those guys would kick our butts, you know, if we didn't finish that record. So we, uh, we ended up finishing it. We're glad we did. And we're on to the next step, the future, you know. And uh, how is nowadays your relationship with Ricky Matlock and with Gary? Oh, Jerry... I hate that guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> with Gary Russell. Oh, I hate that guy. <laughs> okay. No, uh, we're 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 three brothers. Three brothers. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So. We're we love uh, we love each other. We we uh, give each other. Can I say shit? <laughs> Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we give each other stuff. Okay. <laughs> Clothes, shoes, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. And what do you think that Ricky in particular adds, you know, to the Leonard Skinner? Ricky's got a lot of energy, you know what I mean? He's full of it, you know, and uh, I think, uh, you know, he's a great guitar player, good, great singer. You and know? he was a drummer in yeah, the early days yeah, for yeah, the band. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, <laughs> You know, and, and we've all become very close, you know, and, and I think it's worked out wonderful. I couldn't have written it any better. And concerning Michael Cartellone, as uh -huh. we say in Italian. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I just saw him. He looked like the Italian stud. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he was considered you know, an heavy metal drummer when you, right. you called him. So how did you think about him? Well, we were out and... Uh, I had met Michael when he was with the Damn Yankees, yeah, that's true. Uh, Ted Nugent, good friend of ours, and uh, so I saw him playing with the Damn Yankees, and then Ted, the Damn Yankees broke up, and Ted was opening up for us in the United States, and I kept watching Michael, and I was like, wow, wonder what Ted's doing with him. <laughs> so when we needed a drummer, he was the first guy I thought about calling, I really, really was. And you know, with, with Skinner these days, we kind of like those heavy metal things, you know, we we know John Five from Rob Zombie and you know Marilyn Manson and 
I don't know if you ever, excuse me, ever heard of a group called Cedar? Yes, uh, sure. Sean, the singer. Yes, we just wrote one with him, and uh, it's on the new record. And, uh, you know, the cool thing about music, whether what type of music you're playing, if you're a musician, you love music, you know, and and so you, we can all appreciate what, what each other do, you know, whether, whether it's heavy metal, Leonard Skinner, country, whatever. You know. Or opera! <laughs> <laughs> so Sweet Home Alabama and Freebird are featured in a lot, a lot of soundtracks of movies. Um, is there anyone in particular that you feel proud of? Uh, that maybe you consider the perfect combination of song and movie that maybe sublimated your composition that, in the movie? That has already been? Yes. Well, I tell you, when Forrest Gump came out, and they had Sweet Home Alabama, and I just thought that was a hoot, you know, because him and uh, what's his girl, Jenny, are, are dancing to it, you know, and I just thought that was a cool way to do it. And then when she was standing up on the ledge, I'm, she was gonna get ready to jump in the movie, and I was like, please don't, because they were playing Freebird, you know, I was like, don't jump, don't jump. <laughs> you can't fly. <laughs> but, you know, Skinner's had songs in uh, Red October. Uh, God, a bunch of different movies. I can't even. Uh, Despicable Me, and the little cartoon thing, you know. Uh, my daughter. songs as well. Yeah. My daughter went to the movies. I was on the road. She calls me. She goes, Dad, Sweet Home's at the beginning of Despicable Me. I was like, cool. Nice. <laughs> so, you know, as long as it's done tastefully. Yeah. And did you see Elizabeth Town with Freebird? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was so, so yeah. cool. As yes. Well. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Orlando Bloom. Uh, how do you pronounce his last name? Orlando, uh, the actor. Yeah. Orlando Bloom. Or, yeah, yeah. Yes. I believe that's right. Yeah. Um, Close enough. <laughs> okay. So last date of the tour will be 27 of October. I saw on your website uh, on the Simple Man cruise in Miami. Right. What is it about? I mean, it's like uh, an old Leonard Skinner family cruise. Totally. 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 Okay. It's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of people from all around the world come there. I've met people from everywhere uh, that comes to the, on that cruise, and it's it's really a four day, four to five day cruise. You know, yeah. by the time you leave and uh, get back it's five days so uh, but we play we play by the pool acoustically wow, great. yeah we uh, play two shows and then we bring a bunch of our friends with us bands and uh, let them play this year the Doobie Brothers gonna be on there with us and uh, uh, you know so it's just a great 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 time if you're a music lover Really, if you're if you love Leonard Skinner, it's a heck of a time. But if you're just a music lover, it's a good environment to be in. I mean, it goes on till three, four in the morning, and then stops, and then at seven thirty, somebody else is playing. You know, in the morning. You know, so it's just around the clock. Have you done many? I'm sorry. Have you done many of them? Many of them. This will be our sixth one. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, every year. And that's an experience that you suggest? Oh, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Um, Destiny was very wicked and mean to you guys, as you already said before. But what's your real point of view about that? I mean, is that just a matter of bad luck? It's just Destiny? No, I think... I think it's a matter of, yeah. you know, finding I the think courage it, to run. For us, you know what, we believe in, in uh, the heavens above. And uh, you know what, from the time that you're born, your plan is already out. And uh, you know, for us, there's certain things surely we'd like to change, but you never question what God has in plan for yeah. you. And destiny, who knows what their destiny is? I don't know, you know? Uh, but surely we're gonna enjoy the moment and uh, play a great gig tonight here. <laughs> yeah. With Molly Atchison. Yes, yes, our buddies. <laughs> Johnny, do you believe in angels? Yes. I do too. Do you? Look, <laughs> that's the back of an angel yeah. looking up. And this is my daughter's initials. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So I definitely do. Yes. Thanks so much, man. Uh-huh. Thank you. you. Soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shall we talk?